Hello, I'm B. Mills above and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the role of religion in governments. Simply put, religion has no place in government. Alright, I'll catch you all in the next one. Alright, well if you're all still here, I'm guessing you want an explanation why. Simply put, religion has no place in government, any government, because inevitably some group of people finds their throat under the boot of religious oppression. In medieval times, it was Catholics versus Protestants during the Crusades. The Crusaders killed Jews and Muslims. In Northern Ireland from the 60s to the 90s, that's the 1960s to the 1990s, the Northern Ireland conflict was waged between Catholics and Protestants. And today, we see apostates in the Middle East spending time in prison, or worse, for leaving the religion of Islam. Why anyone would want any religion to hold any legal power over any people is beyond me. Because at some point, the religion in power will lose that power, and another religion will step in to take its place, and the religion that once held power will now find its throat under the boot of the new religious regime. The best bet that a society has for religious freedom is to have a secular government in power. When no religion has power over any other, all religions are treated equally, and have a better chance of coexisting in peace and maybe even thriving. Now, according to my experience, most religions are violent by their nature. The Abrahamic religions all came to power through conquest, so it's probably a terrible idea to allow these ideologies to have any kind of political power. The United States set up a secular government from the beginning. We've had some hiccups with following it throughout our history, but we usually manage to get it back on track. Let's hear what a few of our founding fathers had to say about the non-theocratic nature of the government they established. James Madison, in the Treaty of Tripoli, stated, and I quote, The government of the United States of America is not, in any sense, founded on the Christian religion. Thomas Jefferson, in a letter to the Danbury Baptist Association in Connecticut, mentioned building a wall of separation between church and state. And Elbridge Gerry once said that no religious doctrine shall be established by law in the annals of Congress. The list of quotes from America's founding fathers supporting secular government goes on, but I get the feeling no one wants me to rattle off quotes endlessly. So let's jump to what the supreme law of the land, the American Constitution, has to say. The First Amendment states that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment or of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Put plainly, the United States government cannot establish a state religion, and since it would be a violation of the Constitution, Neither can the states or any lower local governments. Nor can any part of the American government impede the religious practices of any American so long as those practices don't violate any other laws. So any religion that practices ritual human sacrifice or something like that needs to go ahead and find themselves an alternative because murder is against the law. That's going to do it for me for real this time. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel. 
Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. You'll find the link for that below so you can keep up with everything I'm getting up to. Take it easy, everyone, and I'll catch you all in the next one.